Hello, Cancer. This is your September 1st to September 15th, 2016 read. For the main read, I will be using the Shadowscapes Tarot by Stephanie Pumunla. And for the advice cards, I will be using the Romance Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Decks have already been pre-shuffled, so let's get right into it. These came up together. Hmm. That's all we're getting. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, one of the ways I do reads is when the cards flip out, if they flip out a certain way, I just honor how they come out. Or if they come up in weird spots, I let that happen. Um, your overall crowning energy is two, two cards, um, which actually are funny because they kind of go together. You got the Fool, and you got Temperance Reversed, <laughs> which... Um, Temperance reverse to me, especially right now, means to me not waiting for something that needs time to finish. For example, if you're baking a cake and you put it in the oven, it's been like 10 to 15 minutes, it's not going to be a cake yet, but you're impatient so you take it out and eat it anyway. It's mostly dough, but that's your choice. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting with this. The fool is rushing right out there and getting things done, um, trying new things, enjoying life without worry of consequence. Um, I feel like the two of these are coming together, but like you're, you're moving too fast on something, and you're not really worried about what the consequences are, and you, I feel like you know that the situation isn't ready, but you're going forward anyway because you're not, not willing to wait. Let's go a little deeper here, because what's going on here is we have the High Priestess and then the Six of Swords, which is interesting because she holds in this, that actually looks like a pomegranate to me. She holds um, a piece of fruit up in the air uh, as a win, kind of a way. And then he also is, a, the Six of Swords is also a card where if it's right side up, it's, it's indicating a win. But upside down, it's not the best win. I feel like it may be... Um, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird because the way they come up in, in your line, like, this is directly in your line, uh, and this is kind of moving down towards the environment. So I almost feel like something happened around you that it's kind of like a tainted win. Either you do actually do what you want, but it's just, it's not working out. It didn't, I think we're coming back to the overall energy where it, it, it's not time. Things, something went out of sequence. Something's a little too early. In your environment, I only have one card in your environment this this time, and um, I got the Magician reversed, which means I'm thinking uh, someone kind of like encouraging you to jump jump the line to kind of go out of sequence, and I don't know if it's for their amusement or if they're getting something out of it, but I don't know if you can see this card the way I'm, I got them up here. Um, it's just, it's not good. I feel like it's self-serving to them, and it almost feels like it's entertainment to some of them. So I'd be careful of that, what's going on, because in your line, it's kind of going like this. Like, I feel like the win, like you really do do well and win, but it's like it's a tainted win. I almost feel like somebody's either messing with you or kind of trying to push you ahead in the game, and they know it's not going to work out as well, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's something they're getting out of it or if it's just like for entertainment on their side. Um... Next in your line, I'm getting the, I think it's the Four of Pentacles, right? Yep. Four of Pentacles. Depending on the read, like in this one, I feel like it's a time where you should be saving, you should be conserving, you should be taking time to do things, and you're not. Um, it's the outside energy, it's pushing you along very, it's like a strong current, I feel. It's pulling you, pushing you along, trying to keep you going. Um, it's very steady, but it's a rushing steady, if that makes sense. It's going fast, but it's continual. Um, again, I feel like it's out of sequence, though. It's not something that should be happening right at this time. Let's see if we get some more information here. Well, that's interesting. This card, typically when I read advice cards, I read them right side up. This card, when it first came out, came in upside down, which 
the first thing that popped in my mind was keeping you don't keep your mind so open that your brain falls out, which has been said to me when I was younger a few times. But the point is, I feel like you're going with the flow and you're trying to have an open mind with the person around you, and you're just kind of going with it, and that's why. But the way I'm reading this, especially since it came in upside down, is maybe you're a little too open to these ideas, and you need to be a little bit more discerning. Um, decide what you really want. In fact, I'm getting that's not where we're going with this. Not what you want, but what's the best plan? What's going to actually cement this in the future? I almost feel like in some cases, I guess because it's college time, if people go into college, it might be a little bit overindulging and partying and things like that, depending on what your life is. Even if you're uh, an older person out of college and you're enjoying some... This is my dog, sorry. An open mind. I feel like you may say something that you regret in the long run. Especially when the second card that comes up for advice, later on in the situation here, closer to the 15th, is career and finances, which ironically, this also came up for Pisces, I just did them before yours, and it makes me feel like this is either business related clearly, career and finances, or a lot of cases, like if you're in some type of learning environment, whether it be college, something like that, um, even if you have a project, like if you own your own business, of course, but if there's a project like... Um, how do I want to put this? Like a community project you're involved with, things like that, that also ties in here. Um, like that's, I'm getting a lot, like, I'm trying to hone in on exactly what it is, and I'm remembering this is a general read, so there's so many people out there who might be watching this, it's hard to hit every one of them. I'm feeling mostly, I'm getting a lot of education, but I'm also getting a lot of like happy hour gone awry. <laughs> um... And for some people, I feel like it's over overindulging, overindulging in the, in the major sense. I also keep getting like a race, like like getting involved in a race, some type of situation where you need more training. If it's in the sense of a business, like it's not like a physical, like literal running race, but like say you're getting involved in a project that has a certain computer system you need to be a part of. You need to know how it works, and I feel like you don't know exactly everything you need to know to actually make those intelligent decisions so you can actually direct things to where to go or at least be that um, supportive player to say this is what's going to happen or I can do this. I feel like there might be a lot of wasted effort uh, by going ahead too fast. Like, again, your crowning, your crowning energy is going ahead without reservation, but starting things way before they're ready to be started. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of wasted energy, a lot of wasted effort. Um, when we get to the 15th, you have the Queen of Cups reversed. And I feel like it's just going to be like disappointed in how things turned out. I think you're going to enjoy this time frame for the most part until you get about to the end of it. And then you're going to realize jumping the line and going ahead or starting too soon didn't pan out. And now we're going to have to start from scratch or scratch the whole idea altogether, one of the two. In the beginning, if you, to save yourself from this, I would remember, like, don't keep an, uh, your mind so open that your brain falls out. Like, that's just, I've, I heard it when I was a kid a couple times, and I just never forgot it. I mean, it's, I, I grant you, it's not the best way to say that, probably, but I feel like it gets the point across. Because I feel like you're going with the flow, and you want to, you want to be a part of the team, and you want to just, you want to do this. Like, you're having a good time. And you kind of have that attitude of, you know, it'll work itself out, I just... Go ahead, do what I can do now, and the rest will just fall into place as necessary. But it's not seeming like that's how it's going to work. If you slow down, slow down, and, you know, think things through, if you want to keep that open mind, like, really think, keep that open mind, like, how are things going to work out in the long run? Like, can you really go forward without knowing everything? Can you really eat that cake after you put it in 15 minutes after you put it in the oven? Not really. And I feel like that's obvious to you. I think you know that, and you just kind of have that idea that things will just fall into place as necessary later, but it's not. It's not. Like, don't have such an open mind that, you know, you end up screwing yourself over. That's all. All right. I hope that helps, and thank you for uh, putting up with my dogs. I really love the dogs. They're just a little overly happy some days. <laughs>
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. If there, uh, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and you have a great day.